Hey there, Bearhawk Builders. Figured I'd give you guys a little uh, overview of my project and how it's going. Right now I'm working on the spar, main wing spar, and uh, just show you a couple fixtures I got, and maybe this tip will help somebody. And But uh, anyway, here's a picture of my, uh, my drilling jig that I made. Um, I have access to a CNC machine, uh, milling machine, and so I was able to to make this and set my rivet spacing accordingly. Um, I have a friend who's also building a regular four-place bear hawk. I'm building a patrol, and so I was able to lay out his rivet lines along with me, mine. Um, both the rivet spacings are the same for the rear and the main spar on each airplane, respectively. Um, but they are a little bit different. Um, from the patrol and the bear hawk uh, by about five thousandths, which really isn't much, but over a long distance, I'm sure it would make a little bit of error on there, um, being that these cap strips are about 12, 14 feet long, so <laughs> they, it ad, error adds up. Uh, one of the things I did that, that was really nice uh, when I was drilling my cap strips is, is I ended up putting a hole here, and I use it as a stop pin. And the edge of this drill bit is exactly half the distance um, from the center line of this um, rivet hole. So when I started all my pieces, I could butt it up there. I know that I got at least half the distance between these um, when I started drilling my cap strips. And this is nothing more than a piece of uh, cold rolled steel. It's a quarter inch thick by two and a half inches wide. I put a couple dowel pins you know, on the center line along with uh, T-nuts that are in the base um, of this particular one and I just clamp it down with these bolts and this is nothing more than a uh, Allen head cap screw with a plastic, they make plastic little uh, nuts that you can press onto the head of them. So they work really nice and I ended up drilling all my rears and main um, cap strips with this fixture. After uh, after drilling the whole thing, it really got pretty wore out. Um, I didn't do gang drilling. I tried it and it everything moved around too much and um, I it wasn't near as precise as drilling them all individually. Um, as you can see, my kind of hard to see, but my rivet lines here are pretty dang straight. Um, I'd say if they vary two or three thou, um, I'd be surprised. Hold on a second while I grab part of this other fixture. And so what I did with the, the drilling jig here is this is actually the base to this piece. I have two bases. I have one for the rear spars and one for the main spars. And the only difference is, well, there's two differences. One, the distance on how far out this, this center line of the rivet line is. And the other one is, is how far, the, how deep the data is. And you see that on the patrol, the rear spar is only a uh, 16th uh, of an inch, where on the bear hawk, it's an uh, eighth inch. So, thus the different... Uh, different heights there and you can kind of see where right here is where this where this other jig pin would go and I had a little spring in here that would help assist and lift this off while I was drilling all my holes um, I ended up drilling my rear spars all to a dash three and my main spars to a dash four that way I'm only upsizing one drill size for all of them had to do it over again I would maybe almost stick with dash dash threes because uh, drilling the uh, the main cap strips to a uh, you know a number forty drill bit is uh, or sorry sorry number thirty drill bit is uh, just a little bit harder. The the forty drill bit went through a lot easier than the uh, thirty. It's just a little bit quicker and um, I didn't have to to let up and. Uh, clear the chips when I was drilling them so um, just I think the drill bit lasts a little bit longer on the uh, 
on the forties versus or forties versus the thirties. Um, but anyway, here's kind of here's kind of what I got going on right now. I got my main my inboard main um, web all laid out on the table. I haven't I haven't uh, I'm gonna raise this up and I have to laser level my table here first before I start drilling anything. But uh, I'm just getting getting everything in my mind wrapped around making sure that I have everything nice and square and marked out before I commit. Um, one thing I'll show you guys is that I made, uh, if you picture these two cap strips not being there, but uh, this is nothing more than a, than a little piece of uh, poplar I got. And I just drilled it to the width of the spar web and drilled a hole in there and it fits my... Uh, fits my pen perfect and so if you can you can see I can draw a line right down on that on that spar web all the way down and get it centered um, these center pieces what I end up doing sorry about that the light uh, there we go getting focused in so these center pieces nothing more than a sheared piece of 032 I um, Cut them to width. Uh, they're three inches wide, and then they're the to the outer rib cap strip, or sorry, cap strip spacing of uh, eight and a quarter. So I did that. Put it in my drilling jig and drilled these three holes in here. So my plan is to use, and the reason why I went with three of these is it would make sure my cap strips were square to each other and they wouldn't be skewed. Um, so they're so they'd be perfectly perpendicular um, to each other, and then I made it so I can drill out drill out the center one. Once I get everything set in place and uh, clamp down and start to drill. Um, one thing that I failed to do when I first started out drilling some, and others have noted on their on their uh, videos and stuff, is don't drill where the flap and the aileron um, drive mechanisms go or the, the steel crossbars go. Um, I did it on a couple of mine. Not really worried about it. I, uh, I'm, I'm pretty well spaced on, on my stuff, so I think it will all pan out in the end. I only did uh, on my top rear cap strips, if I remember right. So it just one layer on one of each of them so not really a huge deal um, the other thing I did that uh, kinda have some of it hidden up here but if you'll notice get the light the shadow out of here if you notice I have a space here that I have no rivets in and that was intentional same right here and if you look in the plans and study careful enough, the rivets around the strut attach bar, actually the rivet spacing changes around this bar. If you leave it the same, you're going to end up with a rivet underneath this steel bar. And you're not going to be happy. So, where do the Ys stop about here? and to here. Same with the top. That's my last one and this is the one that begins. And so when I'm all done or before I'm finished here, what I'll end up doing is I'll end up blowing this up to full size, being that it's half scale, and I'll mark out those and drill them all, gang drill them all um, once I get to that point. But uh, you know, make sure and notice, you know, especially like this, um, this hole here, that that spacing is not normal. So something to pay attention to when you're putting your spars together. Other than that, um, my plan is to just space everything out accordingly. Um, I'm using rivets right now to actually just locate some of my spacer bars in here. My cap strips, if you kind of look here, they actually 
they bowl, and I think it's one of two things. Either how my material is stored, once I bought it, I had I had it stored for a couple months, and but I actually, these aren't, this isn't bar stock, it's actually, uh, I had a sheet sheared, and so I don't know if in the shearing process it, it put a bow in it, but there's about a half inch bow within 12 feet. So not a real big bow, and just by just by putting these in here, I can actually uh, actually get the bow out of it pretty easy. What I ended up doing is putting the bow um, to the outside on both of them, and so and then I pull it together in the middle, space it out. So I shouldn't really have a problem with it not being straight once I get it all spaced out. Uh, one thing I saw that uh, Another builder was doing is using their center uh, center attach plate to uh, to space out their cap strips, which I think is a pretty good idea. Um, other than that, uh, like one thing here is I haven't committed yet to to actually cutting these cap strips short enough um, to line up where they actually need to be. So I kind of wanted it all together, leave things a little bit long before I trimmed things up and and was committed and I'm kind of glad because I thought I actually screwed up a couple cap strips and uh but I haven't cut them yet so I'm safe. So uh you can see I start out getting all my uh center holes uh marked here and I'll a I'll actually drill the whole thing before I end up fly cutting those at the end. All right, uh, that's about all I got. Thanks.